Apple has announced an invitation-only security bug bounty to reward re researchers. That's real researchers, not robot researchers. People who find flaws in their code. Apple has had a historically uneasy relationship with security researchers and is now uh, one of the last to offer a bounty. While hackers are welcoming the new program, many are also asking, what took you so long? So you, either of you have any ideas why Apple was the last to this bug bounty game? Well, one of, one of the first things is that, you know, Apple didn't want to get into a bidding war with government agencies on code. And they, they, so they didn't want to start that. And they also figured that a lot of people that hack their software may be doing it for nefarious reasons. And so they didn't want to reward them. And so Apple decided to try to do as much as they could in-house. The problem is, is that they found most of the, you know, small, easy fixes. And they've realized that this is just too big for them. And so they, they need to outsource this. But the bounties are still pretty small in comparison. I think that the they paid a million dollars reportedly for the hacking bug for the iPhone 5. If they're offering up to $200,000. And so I wonder, what, you know, if you're going to be paying for it, there's that's a huge difference. Five times the amount, I would probably go with whoever would pay a million dollars because, you know, it's a lot of your time that you're choosing to find a vulnerability. One that gives a big payout is probably the one that they're still going to get. What do you think, Owen? I would still say that Apple, like in all things, Apple are, as much as Apple is ahead of the game in things, they're behind the curve on a lot of things. And then they pretend that they're ahead at the end of the day. But it's really interesting that even though they're doing this, it's still walled off and sectioned off and they're in control of it and have it in such a finite state. So really, are they doing anything? Yeah, they are. But they're also hindering the chance of people finding out what's going on. You can still hack something or, or find out a bug from the outside and bring it to them, but they're starting off with this 12 person. Like it's Apple yeah. is so weird how much control they take over everything. Like they're not like, hey, hey, just find the problems. Let's fix them. They're like, all right, you've 12 find the problems. Everybody else stop trying. Just leave them alone. We're going to work with these guys and see what they can do first. It's, it's really weird the way Apple yeah, is I such control freaks. I, I was actually asking Renee exactly those reasons as why they would not just open it to everyone. More bugs finding better for everyone. I don't know why they would only have a secure amount of people, people that they trust and that deal with it. Unfortunately, sometimes the people that are going to find the bugs are not going to be the most trusted people that have already reinforced. If you're going to give someone money, they may choose to go with that. But, you know, by making it so like, I guess they're testing out the waters and hopefully they'll open it up to anyone and to everyone, and then hopefully they'll also give people a greater payout. They did say, though, that they would double up the amount of money if you would give your money to charity. Why would you do that? It's Again, like, like I said, control freaks about everything. Are they do? Oh, are they using their tax evasion for yes, charity? They're doing like, it, what, yes, they're doing it Are they all their money offshore so they can give to charity? Like, well, how I don't you know if they're doing it. I don't know if they're doing it for the offshore. They're definitely doing it because they need to have a ton of money on tax write-offs so it benefits them, right? So it's almost like they're getting back the money that they would give you. And we were talking about the little bit of public shaming because they'll be like, do you want to give that to charity? And everyone would be like, oh, I feel like a horrible person. Just take the money. Take the money. But that's what I'm saying. But that's a person's job, though. They're yeah. doing work for you. Yes. And they're spending yes. a significant amount of time doing it. No, I don't want to give it to charity. And you should <laughs> double my pay anyway because it's hard work. And you're Apple. You're out here building space sauces in the middle of the woods, and you're trying to snake me on some money? No. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's like if, if Leo would be like, oh, yeah, do you want to give all of your salary to charity? Would you like to do that? And I would have to publicly say yes or no, which is what I would say, <laughs> sadly. Um, yeah, exactly. Yes or no. 50-50. <laughs> so I mean, give me all the money and I'll decide if I want to give it to charity so I get the tax write-off. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Well, I mean, Google paid more than $2 million for vulnerabilities just last year. And this, I mean, the, the bounty is up to $200,000 that they're offering. Which is so. peanuts. Mm -hmm. And most of them, it all depends on what, right? Some of them are $25,000 for small vulnerabilities. It's not like Apple does not have the funds to be able to pay out properly to make sure that we are all secure.